Right, hi guys. New background today because I got a tripod so you can see all our beautiful books, our beautiful babies. I love them. They're like crazy. There's on my red shelf. I don't think I can see that because apparently you can only see me up here. Just make sure you can see the books. Brilliant. So today's video is going to be a chocolate book quiz. No, I know that sounds quite weird, but it's literally um, my two favourite things in the world chocolate and books. So basically, I've written down here different flavours of chocolate and then a book theme, and then I've chosen a book to go with that theme. So let's see if this works, shall we? I still feel like I'm on an angle. Oh dear, hold on. Hmm, strange. Right, okay, so, back to the books. So question number one is, dark chocolate, a book that covers dark themes. Now, I read a lot of true life books, and I'm aware that not many people who watch booktube are. So I've picked a fictional book that I've never spoke about, and it's by an author that I've never spoke about, but it's a, a fantastic author, I absolutely love her. It's Little Liar by Lisa Valentine. Now this book is essentially about two people, it's got two perspectives, um, Nick Dean and Angela Furness. Um, Nick's a teacher and Angela is his student and she accuses him of um, sexual harassment, sexual abuse and rape basically. So if you if you've been through any of that and you're still dealing with something like that, please just be careful when you're reading this because it will trigger a few memories and stuff. It's not for young people. Um, it's pretty. It's very much an adult book, but it is fiction and it is fantastic. So, yep, Little Liar by Lisa Valentine. Fantastic book. Put that there. Right. Question number two is. White chocolate, a light-hearted read that you enjoyed. There was only ever one author that I could pick for this because I love her books and she's awesome. And it's Cecilia Airhead, 100 Names. And there's a sticker on my book and as you can see I paid 4 99 for it. So you can also see that I'm cheap. But I can't stand stickers on books. I think they make, make them look troggy and cheap and nasty and I don't like it. I'm not going to spend half an hour taking the sticker off and ruin the video. So, yeah, this book is amazing. It's about this journalist called Kitty Neal. Kitty Neal? Kitty Logan. Where did I get Neal from? Kitty Logan. She, um, she's recently lost her mentor to cancer. Um, she's called Constance. And when she goes back to work, she finds an envelope. And it says one last story on it, basically. And there's 100 names. So... She's ringing round, ringing round, thinking, do you, how do these names connect? The thing is, they don't. It's basically a book about how everybody has their own story, be it dark and twisty or light and fairy. You know, everybody in this world has a story to tell. So basically, that's what Kit, um, Constance was trying to teach Kitty. Like, you don't have to dig and dig deep for a story because everybody has a story. Um, so basically, she picks a name and she listens and she writes the story and once a month when the, the magazine she works for comes out she picks a name and writes the story it becomes a segment in the magazine and it's beautiful and it's amazing and I read it in like one day I literally went to Costa back in the day when you could go to Costa and enjoy a coffee and read a book read half the book and um, basically thought it was time to go home because I had to go pick my daughter up from school again back in the day because um, <laughs> we all know children aren't at school at the minute so it's a bit stressful and it's a bit mm, not very good is it really they need to be back at school but um, yeah basically so I picked it up from school and I literally could not stop thinking about this book so I picked it up again and read the other half then I wrote my, rev wrote my review on Instagram 
and because I follow Cecilia Airhem on Instagram, I tagged her in it. Not really thinking anything, anything of it, you know what I mean? I was just tagging her in it because I knew um, I followed the author, and she actually wrote me back. I was like, ah! you know, one of my favourite authors in the entire world, I literally just wrote on my Instagram, and I was so excited, and nobody was really bothered. And I was just like, ah, pop a fan girl over it, squealing, screaming, carrying on, nearly crying. So I screenshotted it and put it on Facebook, as you do. So anyway, yes. 100 Names for Cecilia Erhen. You should read it. It is a good book. Really good book. Right. Dairy Milk. Oh, what's going on with my hair? Dairy Milk. Um, no, not Dairy Milk. Milk Chocolate. A book with a lot of hype. So, as you all know by now, we're like, what, 10 videos in? And I say every video, I do not like over hype books. I choose not to like them. It's just, I don't mean to do it, it just, it just tends to happen. So, this was a bit difficult for me, um, but I chose um, the Shadowhunter series. This is book three, because book one and two are at my best friend's house, two doors away. So, um, yeah. Uh, Cassandra Clare, The Shadowhunter series, this one is City of Glass, it's the third book in the series and it's awesome. It's basically about a bunch of teenagers that aren't normal teenagers and it's just epic. And I've still got, unfortunately, because I kind of literally binged like five of the books, I think, um, and then I thought I need a break so I put them down and I've still got a Heavenly Fire to read and also the Infernal Devices which is a spin-off and also the Bane Chronicles to read so but I will get around to doing it but yes fantastic series very overhyped but very very good as well and also I watched the series on Netflix too and that was good too so you should watch and read The Shadow Hunters because it's epic right Question number four. Chocolates with a caramel centre. I love a good curly whirly. Um, anyway, chocolate with a caramel centre. A book that made you go all gooey and warm in places. Now, I could have chose Harry Potter for this one for many, many reasons. But instead, I chose a book that I, for one, absolutely loved. It was very fluffy, very contemporary, very um, warm and very... Good, I loved it, and it was So All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. Now this book gave me all the feels, and it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's basically about this girl called Lara Jean. Lara Jean's song, she's called. Um, she like falls in love with boys, and rather than telling them, she writes them a letter and doesn't send them. She puts them in a hat box, and one day, um, these letters get sent out by accident so she has to like deal with the fallout of that and whatever but um unfortunately one of them letters was to her sister's boyfriend so oops a daisy but yeah there is three in the series there is to all the boys i've loved before p.s i still love you and always and forever lara jean um all fantastic books all excellent in the room, right? Brilliant author, brilliant story. Loved it on all levels. Could not fault it. It was amazing. So yeah, I've just got to put these in order again before I put them on my shelf because then, you know, no, it goes to all the boys I've looked for. P.S. I love you. And then, all of them forever, Lara Jean. Right, next one is A Way for Free Kit Kat. That's just insane. It's the best bit. If free, I'd go mad. I would go mad if I had a way for free Kit Kat. It would. It's just it'd be a chunk of chocolate. I could just. Nah. No. Not a fan. Right. It's the best bit. So a book that surprised you. It would be a surprise, wouldn't it? Way for free Kit Kat. I'd be like, put my money back. So anyway, this one is truly shocking, and. The plot twist in this book is incredible. I could not see it coming. I did not. Could, it hit me like a train. It did. It really did. And that is... One of, his, one of Us is Lying by 
Karen M. McManus. She's an amazing author. There's this book and one that God, my nose is really itchy today. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Um, and she's got there's two out. There's this one, and one of us is next, which is somewhere amongst this lot. So, um, yeah, I loved it. Basically, there's five students in detention, and one of them miraculously dies. But there's only there's only them five in the room, so obviously it has to be one of them. And it is amazing. Honestly, I could not put it down, and it's and it's real pretty as well. Look, it's got red pages. It's fantastic, and the um, the other one's got blue pages, and I'm currently reading at the minute on my horror box app. Um, I'm reading another story by her called Who Can Keep a Secret, and that's amazing. Like I literally stayed up to like three o'clock this morning reading it, and I'm very very tired now. But you know, we're all good. Um, so yeah, one of us is lying and then one of us is next and you should pick up anything that this woman does because she's just incredible. She's an incredible author. Fantastic! Right, next one is Dairy Milk Hernut, a book you can't stop raving about. Now, this one is amazing. Oh my god, it's so sad and it's heartbreaking and I just loved it. It just, it's Adam Silvera history um, is all that you left me. Basically, Griffin lost his first ever boyfriend and best friend in a drowning accident, and it's basically f following his grief, his, his like journey for grieving for his ex boyfriend, his one true love, and his best friend in the entire world. It's really, really sad, and I just loved it. I loved it. Again, I couldn't put it down. It was worth worth the tears, worth the 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 bucket full of tears that I I I shed reading this book so yeah loved it absolutely loved it and last but but by no means least is number seven a box of chocolates a series that you think has everything now who can guess what i picked for this because i pick it every time i get the chance to and that is harry potter it needs no no explanation it just it has everything it has magic it has friendship it has love it's just beautiful. I love it. It's my one true love in book world. I love it. It's amazing. So yeah. And if you haven't read Harry Potter or watched the films, please. Just, hmm. That's not good, is it? You should really start doing that. So that's that. My last box of chocolates. My most amazing series ever is Harry Potter. Love it. Right, so that's going back on my Harry Potter shelf. But that's it guys, that is it for my chocolate book quiz. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some good reads and like, you know what you're gonna read next now. But yeah, so I will hopefully see you soon for another video, very soon, because I have lots planned out. I will tell you what I've got next. And that is a character book quiz. Next, next video is a character book quiz. So basically, I'm just gonna answer a lot of questions about characters alone not the books just the characters so again that should be interesting but yeah um i hope you all have a lovely day whatever you're doing and i'll see you soon in my next video bye bye bye